Aquatics. Today we're going to be finishing off this little guy here, the little punching device here. And as you push it down, I'll show you. I've pre marked the holes where I want them to go. See, you've got six there one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically, you grab all of these things and they'll give you a bit of a pilot hole for your drill to go. So you push and they make and they suddenly give and they'll punch a, a nice little pilot hole ready to go in there. I've done it once because I line them up and then you just go around a couple of times clicking them in and that'll just make a nice little hole so you can make sure your holes are all nicely drilled all the way in the same place where you want them okay because we want it to look tidy so then we're going to get the drill start off nice and slow I'm going to just change that drill bit out because that one was about as good as a chocolate teapot. So we got one hole drilled through there. I don't know if you can see, but that is probably a good at the top. I'd say half an inch thick around the top of there. Quite thick. That's why it take, took some time to drill through. And now we've got to do a few more holes. I won't take you through that process, but I'll get back to you when I've drilled them all, okay? Alright okay, guys, there we go, we've done all the holes, all around there like that, it's going to work well. What I've got now is I've got a little tool in there, which is a little countersink tool, and I'm just going to put that in each one of the holes, and it's just going to make those edges, just take those burrs off and give it a nice little edge. I'll just do it and I'll show you what it looks like. There you go guys, you can see that now, it's just giving those little holes a nice little countersink edge. And taking all those sharp bits off, so I don't know, it just makes it look a little bit neater as well. We've got a nice bit of acrylic. Right, guys, what we're going to do now is I've got the old braddle, which is one of these little gadgets, which is just a little very sharp spike on the end. And I'm just going to score that around there. So now you can see we've got a nice little mark there and one there. Okay, so we've got like the two windows now, we've got a top and a bottom. So now we've got to cut these bits out, which is always the fun part. Right, guys, what I'm going to do is I've got my two. They're the two rough cuts I've got out there now. A little bit scratched up. I had to use my jigsaw on these to get that off. But now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rough up, take all these rough edges off on here and make them nice and circular. I'm going to speed things up now and we're going to get these sanded down.
Okay, guys, what we've got and what we've done, we take that sleeve out of there now. Because I've got the old plasti dip. Okay, and because this is going to be a diving bottle, what I've done is, I don't know if you can see in there, but I've plasti dipped the inside. I've sprayed the inside. If you look back on my other videos, how we made the other um, the other little aquariums that I've made where I've sprayed this, this coating on the back, this rub, rubber coating, which is fabulous stuff. And you can peel it off of anything you put it on, really. It's, uh, it's fabulous stuff. Now, what I've done is I've drilled a small hole through the back there, okay? And we put some shrink wrap around there just to protect it. I put a little blob of silicone in there as well, just to fill up that hole. But now what we've got is we've got we've got our light now in the base. Okay, so the light's in the base. We've got our acrylic tube. And we've also got these circles now which we cut, which we can now. I'm going to do a two-part. I'm going to use an acrylic glue around here. And that will then sit on top of that little light inside and um, I think it's going to look quite good but I've just glued the bottom of the um, of the little tank on now with some acrylic glue just literally put a bead of it around the top like that very very thin and then just sit the top on like that and I'll just put you up a bit and you just put the glue around sit it on there, level it up and then it goes off very very quickly so now that's done now we have our little tank to go inside which is great yeah I was going to make this into a little shrimp tank but I thought against it because it's quite a small um, it's, I wanted an up light in effect with the base at the bottom there and um, so with if I'd have had a sponge filter at the bottom I could have made a very small one at the back but I just fancy this being light and bubbles coming up in this in this little lamp just to um, just as a decorative effect on this one so now we've got our base on there now that can go sliding into there like that and then what we've got to do is once it's in place then as you can see the glass panel now is on the front I'm gonna have to silicone that in just around there just to fill those gaps up just to hold it in place and then as you can see the top is just sticking proud I don't know if you can see that but it's sticking about I'd say half an inch off the top so then when our when we put our top on it's going to slide over the top like that okay there you go guys, I'm just outside now, I'm just using the old Plasti Dip the old white stuff there, and I've just given the coat I've just given it a couple of nice coats there all the way around keep your coats really light with this and you leave it a good sort of good 10-15 minutes in between coats because then what we're going to do afterwards then we're going to separate this in segments and we're going to put the black section on later on when that really dries because otherwise the masking tape is going to pull it off if it's not fully cured okay there you go guys it's all done i went for the old classic bubbling divers uh, little diver in there we put some weeds in the back i got a low regulator off ebay for a tenner which is a bit ruined but it looks the part and we've uh, connected it up to the top there where we cut the um, where we shaved all that down so we made a nice little seating area for that to go on and what a good thing to run it on is our little oxygen maker there look like we made on the last video so I thought I'd, I'd put that on and that can run the little diver and I'm just going to see how long that's going to run him for and then we've got our little light that goes on as well. There you go. So he's all glowing up. That's going to look quite funky in here, I think. I'm quite happy the way that one turned out. It looks quite good. It's really clear. That acrylic's super clear. And um, 
and the old diver's working away nicely there. I'll just take you out the tripod now and I can show you a bit closer. There you go, there's the old regulator there, the old two-stage reg. And, um, and that's what it looks like. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to take the mini pond outside so I can start clashing and crashing and banging and doing other things out there. On the top of the bench we're going to put a new, I've got a nice old big piece of wood there which I got off a mate of mine, we're going to put that on the bench soon and, um, and put a new surface on this bench because this one's full of holes and drill marks and all that kind of stuff. There it is my little mate there. I'll turn the light out in the shed and we'll see how it looks with that off. I think any any diver would be happy with that on their or on their uh, in their living room as a little light. The old classic diver. Only one of his ears is bubbling at the moment. I think it's not. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we're happy with that. We're happy with that. And that's going to be in the shed now, so that's going to be one of my little lights, because it's not going to have anything alive in there. It's just completely, just for decorative purposes, just as like a little lamp. And, um... So you'll see that on most of the videos. Alright guys, hope you like that little double build out of the fire extinguisher made into that little diving bottle lamp. Anyway guys, love you all, you're all stars as always. Thank you for uh, taking your time to watch the videos that I'm doing and subscribing. And for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, go and have a look at the other videos. It might, uh, it might take your interest and make you want to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for up and coming videos. Alright then guys, you're all stars, love you loads, take care, be safe, and I'll see you on the next episode of Mark's Aquatics. Bye for now. Just me and my